and welcome back to the channel again. If you have a Toyota Corolla between 2003-2008 or Pontiac, Pontiac by 2003-2008 or Matrix, the same year 2003-2008 and you have a code for this solenoid valve, shift solenoid valves. In this case we're gonna talk specifically about P0751, P0751 which is for the shift solenoid valve 1. This is the number 1 because it goes by number up to number 3. Then the number 4 is not counted as a number 4. At the beginning, I want to say something. You don't even, you don't even have to open the transmission or the oil pan on the transmission if you have a fancy scanner. Because one of these scanners can tell you when, uh, when these shift solenoids are failing. Now that, that's if you have one of these that is a fancy scanner or you can do it with one of these i mean a good scanner but in this case but in this case we're gonna be testing it using only two pairs of small wires here and a battery of course the battery has to be well charged and of course we're gonna be using a multimeter we need a multimeter too and that is because we're gonna be doing two tests that's the way to test this shift solenoids two tests one with our battery a uh, 12 volt battery and the other one is with the, with a multimeter if the solenoid fails one of those tests then the solenoid is not good it has to pass both tests for you to determine that this solenoid is good if, if that is your case then the problem might be in the wires the valve body the transmission or either the pcm or the ecu now also i have been including the wire diagram for those who need to follow the wires to chase the wires in case if the problem is the wires now i will not be telling you i will not be showing you how to use the wires i mean the wire diagrams but i will be leaving it there just for you to see it and you will have to follow on your own i'll be showing you how to test this physically and also with the software from toyota which is very easy so let's get started all right, here is, uh, I'm gonna turn on my multimeter here. I'm gonna put it in ohms right there and I hope the camera can pick that up because the positive multimeter lead goes on the pin all the time, on the pin on the connector here, all the time. All right, make sure you, you do a uh, good contact. Otherwise the results are gonna lie. So if I get between 11 and 15 ohms, this solenoid passes this test. All right, 13.2 ohms. So that means this shift solenoid is good on the first uh, on the first test. So it has passed the first test. Let's do let's put this aside. Get the two wires here, small wires. You don't even need a, a fancy tester. All right, we're gonna connect it right here on the connect on the connector of the shift solenoid, and this is going to go to the positive. Remember. All right, now this this is the thing. Toyota calls it operation noise. It's a click. It, it makes a click if it's good. If it's not, it's not gonna click. Once I apply 12 volt, if it doesn't, then this solenoid is defective. So let's see. There it goes. I hope the camera heard that click, but this one clicked. So it made an operation noise. So that means it's good. Now it will not click a second time because it's not, it's not, it doesn't have pressure at all. It doesn't have an oil pressure. So it's not pressure lower right now at this point. So this solenoid is in perfect condition. So now let's go to work on the, on the next step. And this right here, I put a jack stand because uh, this is the side that I'm going to be working. 12 millimeter bolt. 10 millimeter bolt and they are 18 in total. And this is how it looks inside. Right there, one side you take the oil pan out. All right, I'm gonna be testing uh, these two here. The other one has a little bit different way to, to be tested because it has two wires. So all I want you to hear is that click. That click is a, it's a very strong click because uh, it's actuating when uh, when it does the click. Just be careful here not to make contact with the metal here because then you're gonna spark and you're gonna make a you're gonna cause a short here. So 
no matter how many times you're gonna make contact it will click very strong so these ones are good in good condition all right now here with the software as you can see first let's take a look at the code here p0751 now if you have a very good scan tool that can read all the data and live data of these solenoids then that is great so you still can do it with our fancy scanner all right now let's test the solenoids with the software here you already saw how to test it physically very easy as i did it the negative multimeter lead goes on the body of the solenoid and the positive multimeter lead goes on the pin and if you get this result 11 to 15 ohms then that is fine that part and the next is with the battery as i already did it too negative multimeter lead to the body of the solenoid and the positive on the pin if the shift solenoid is good it should pass both tests or it must pass both tests finally you check the transmission you gotta check the valve body sometimes the valve body is the problem so if the shift solenoid is good and the wire is good everything is good with the pcm then the problem should should be over here on the transmission all right before getting into the valve body here let me show you the wire diagrams for all the solenoids here now i will not be telling you how to use it you have to know how to use it on your own this is the ignition switch as, as you can see here i will be telling you briefly some some things really quick Now this is the engine control module here as you can see. Let's scroll down a little bit. Let's leave it like that for now. Alright, here are all the solenoids, the shift solenoids. As you can see, these are the number of the pins on the PCM, as you can see. 1, 13, 12, 11, 10, and 9. That's those are the pins the, the PCM uses for all the solenoids in this case, four of them. This one is the only one that has two wires here. So even if the wire diagram is kind of big, don't worry about it. All you got to do is chase the wire from the PCM all the way to the solenoid. And that's it. In case if you have problems on the wires. Now this is the other part of the diagram here. This is the shifter here, as you can see. Engine control module again. All right, this is the other part of the diagram here. This is the combination meter here, or the instrument cluster. All right, and if you're gonna remove the valve body, here is how to remove it and also how to install it back step by step, including all the torque specifications. All right, here are all the solenoids, as you can see, number one, number two, and number three here. And this is the SLT on this side. These three here are lining up, and this one is a single here on this side. And this is how they are located like this, as you can see them. And this is another image here, another angle.
remember this bolt 10 millimeter bolt for the strainer they don't have the same torque specification so here it is as you can see finally the 18 10 millimeter bolt around the oil pan and if you think this video was helpful for you please consider to subscribe to my channel thank you and god bless you all